Alright, this is new to us. A lot of y'all have been asking for this for years now. And yep. It's the big fat quiz. Now, we don't know too much about it. Never seen a full episode of it. We know Jimmy Carr hosts it, so that's got to be a good sign. I'm, I'm ready for it. I, I love me some factoids, some trivia, some recaps. I love them. Mm -hmm. So, if this is an interactive thing, I don't know. Well, wow. Yeah, I mean, we, we always play along when he do what I lie to you. Yeah. But maybe this is something we play along to. We know for a fact that there's Big Fat Quiz of the Year right before, before New Year's, after Christmas. And then there's Big Fat Quiz of Everything after New Year's. So, <laughs> as of right now, as time of this recording, Big Fat Quiz of Everything 2024 has not come out. I'm here for it. Sweet. Yeah. You are you ready? Are you yeah, ready I, to dive in? I'm always tentative, but at the end of the day, I always do a cannonball. Let's exactly. do it. Exactly. Yeah, it sounds good to me. Three, two, one. Hello, and welcome to the Big Fat Quiz of the Year. This is the show that deals with all the most important stories of the last 12 months. Except that one. No, <laughs> we, we won't focus on all the bloodshed, hatred, and raging conflict. That wouldn't be fair to Holly or Phil. Let's meet our teams. I remember that one. How oh. how much controversy we sh stirred up by having the w worst time to upload that. That was an interesting moment, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it shows our ignorance and how unplugged we are. <sighs> hey, listen, plausible deniability, honestly. It's just like, we don't know what the hell's happening. We, we just point, click, and play. Oh, man. Two amazing, hilarious guests cancelled at the last minute, but to replace them, we've managed to get Richard Iwadi and Mel Gedreich. Hey. It's Moss. Next up, a brave woman who's had to endure several painful operations in order to overcome her physical challenges, and a comedian with cerebral palsy. It's Rosie Jones of Captain Ryan. Next up. Lock up your daughters, it's Mo Gilligan. And whilst you're there, maybe lock up your drinks cabinet, it's Kevin Bridges. <laughs> Mo and Kevin, everyone. Have you got sort of team names, Richard, Mel? Oh, sorry. Yeah, Wait. Bridges. Sorry. I've suddenly realised I've still got my coat on. Mel, you look good with a coat, man. Do you like it? You look like a mum at parents' evening. OK. <laughs> Mo, should yeah. I go collar up? Put the collar up. Yeah. You should look I like a Bond villain. Yeah. Looks good, man. But I don't want you to feel like I want I to leave. I don't feel, don't worry. OK. <laughs> what is the team name going to be? I thought the unpronounceables. Ah. It's difficult to know whether you're allowed to laugh at it because that might make you slightly prejudiced. I think the unpronounceables is good, yeah. I like it. Catherine, Rosie, have you got, uh, have you got a team name? Rosie and I are very close. Yeah. I feel like we're going to make a great team. Oh, yeah. Um, we both like to drink, and it is the holidays. I was thinking, like, the alcoholidays. <laughs> uh, I hate that. <laughs> Here are my other... He sees you when you're drinking. Santa's besties, simple, or the classic daddy and me. Oh, I like that because I am daddy. Well, let's go with a slightly creepy one. Great. <laughs> Mo, Kevin, have you got a team? <laughs> you got to say daddy and me every time you go to the... <laughs> It's not great, is it? Give it daddy and me, what have you got? <laughs> Mo, Kevin, have you got a team name? We're going to call ourselves Extinction Rebellion. <laughs> what? I thought we were going to go with GB News. Well, because I'm Gilligan, he's Bridges, and GB News, and they you know working class black people on the show, so we thought we'd be the representation for GB News. Of Team GB? Okay, but I think. Team but then GB. people are going to tune in halfway through and see that and hang with a couple of geeks. We got that covered over here, don't worry. You're fine. <laughs> team GB? Or third choice name? Third choice name, yeah. Wow, we're being suppressed, man. Hey. Nice. <laughs> now, the big social media trend this year was everyone using AI to sort of. Imagine what they would have looked like in the 90s in a yearbook photo. Mo, you did this. Yeah. I've got yours. Look at oh, this. Man. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, the that... one in the middle, you look as if you're about to party like it's 1999. <laughs> yeah. It's I think extraordinary. The Foss one. That's the GB News. <laughs> 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 now, I've done these for everyone. So, Catherine, have a look. Oh, oh, no. You look like your own hot mum. <laughs> <laughs> That's the idea, Rosie. <laughs> Rosie, here's yours. Aww. I think here, from left to right, nice. is like from grade A student to she joined a gang. All that right. looks like Saved by the Bell, right? Yeah, it there. does. It does. Yeah. Did you jump on that trend? You're more plugged into trends. I see it on TikTok all the time, but I haven't tried it yet. 
the only time I did like one of those face swap things or whatever it is, is I there was a filter from CapCut that it makes you the opposite gender of what you are. And I got to tell you, female Spencer's pretty damn hot. There you go. That's all you need to know, guys. <laughs> That's yes. You and I cannot be more different when it comes to that. There you go. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> oh, and, and and there's a short of us um, as if we were Pixar characters. Yeah, that's creepy. I yeah. age like 40 years, and I look like I fish avidly for yeah. sharks. Like, yeah. I look like I um, could be uh, an extra on Burt Kreischer the Machine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was awesome. It didn't flatter, that's for damn sure. Uh, okay, I haven't seen it, so oh, okay. I guess uh, maybe it'll come up in this, hopefully. Let's see, man. Yeah. Mel, here's you. Oh, dear. <gasps> oh! Yeah. Okay. I know. It's a lot. It's not bad. If you look like that in the 90s, no wonder Sue wanted to work with you. I've, guys, I've never felt so great about myself. <laughs> Which one of these was most like your teenage self, Mel? Oh, gang. I used to wear a trilby. Mm. And yes, I yes you did. I had a corsage, a sort of rose corsage on my lapel. Were you a detective? <laughs> I want to live in AI, man, solidly. Yeah. I'm well. really happy with that. Okay, Richard, here's yours. Oh, come on. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the first, uh. one, the first one looks like he could be swap out for Drake in Degrassi, the next generation. <laughs> the middle looks like Moss um, in high school. And the end looks like uh, he's cosplaying. It's exactly what it is. He looks like a narc in the last one. He yeah. looks like he shouldn't do that ever. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. Yep, yep. Yeah, pretty good. Wow. What I like is that I still look tired. <laughs> Kevin, they've spent billions of dollars oh. on AI technology. <laughs> And even with that, they couldn't make you look cool. Have a look. Damn it. Get out of here. And even with that, they couldn't make you look cool. Have a look. <laughs> oh, looks, the, the second two look like he's either trying to be a white rapper around the early 90s uh, with, like, like compete with Vanilla Ice and Millie Vanilli. And then the second, the last one looks like he's uh, the extra in NSYNC. Yeah, or one of the stereophonics. Yeah. That's pretty much yeah. it. Yes, that one. Absolutely nuts, dude. AI, man. It's, it's crazy. Billion spent. That's from... Yeah. I, I think the first one looks on... It's just like something you'd see like on the wall in a bar in Boston or something. <laughs> like a on famous a, local yeah. fighter or something. The middle one looks like he's a streetwise golfer who doesn't play by the rules. He's trying to come back after he fatally broke his middle finger. Probably <laughs> flipping someone off. All right, let's get on with the show. Our first round is all about 2023's biggest headlines. In June, horny cabbage patch doll Boris Johnson resigned as an MP. I assume to spend more time with his families. <laughs> uh... Essentially, Boris Johnson treated the country like every lover he's ever had, screwed it, and then left. In June, Harry, the ginger, formerly known as Prince, <laughs> became the first British royal to give evidence in court for 130 years. It's disgusting the way the press have tried to manipulate gaslight and control Harry. Who do they think they are? Meghan? All right, who's up for some questions? Headlines questions first, all right? Question one in the Big Fat Quiz of the Year, 2023. During the COVID inquiry, Dominic Cummings revealed staff number 10 had a nickname for Boris Johnson. What was it? Oh, yeah. Good. Yes, please. Yeah. I don't know. I'll give you a clue. It referred to his tendency to change direction. Oh, yeah! Oh, that my was? God! It was something What like is that. it, Dad? No. <laughs> I don't know either. Okay, we'll move no. on. D? Okay. All right, question number two. In August, former US President Donald Trump posted on Twitter, now X, for the first time in two years. Can you tell me what he posted? What is X? What's that? Well, there was a thing called Twitter, Nana, and and Twitter got bought by a man called Elon Musk, who's a bit like Iron Man. OK. And then he changed the name to X. OK. It's now called X. It's now called X. You ever met Elon Musk, Jimmy? Yeah, of course. Have you, honestly? Yeah. Some wizard party or something, but... <laughs> <laughs> I just... I just... <laughs> I hope that they would be mate. Yeah, I mean... We, we played a game of, uh, you know, the game uh, kind of mafia, like Wink Murder? 
Hang on, you were at a party. <laughs> oh! Did you get in? Of course, it wouldn't be the Big Fat Quiz without an appearance from the children of Mitchell Brook Primary School performing oh! one of their unconventional school plays. Please take a look. Lovely. What the hell? Where's the Labatees? Get us on here! Where's my seat? Hello, is it a seat you're looking for? Yeah. Where's your wife and kid? They were in America. Boo hoo hoo. <laughs> oh, heavy. Watch the hair. <laughs> my arm. Oh. What's the point of that? Whatever it was, it was historical. It referenced a lot of moments and to the point. I'm assuming that right there summed up 2023. And in a lot of ways, it did. It left you feeling exactly how I felt when 2023 was over. Yeah. Just like, be like what? what the fuck was that? <laughs> Thank you. That's yeah. what I'm trying to say. It's like, what the fuck was that? Yeah. Uh, that was great. All right, so that was, of course, Charles and Camilla's coronation back in May. But what I want to know is why this man, who was in attendance, went viral. Why did that man go viral? <laughs> Mel's actually shadowing this man as part of a case. He looks like a bunch of kids in a coat, you know, standing on each other's shoulders. <laughs> like, you're just yeah. trying Stop to buy it. a cigarette. This poor man. Hang on, guys. Is he a man? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> OK, take a look at this US news clip in which Montana resident Chase Doak discusses being the first to witness a huge news story of 2023. All I want to know is, what's he talking about? It was just right here. I mean, I was literally right in this vicinity in my driveway. I had posted a couple of photos just to social media, just joking, like, I thought I saw a UFO. Standing here, I'm, I can feel my phone vibrating because people are trying to call me. Where is this? Oh, the oh, Chinese I spy yep. balloon. Yep. Yeah, that's yep. what that was. Oh, yep. man. Oh. God. Well, it's in Montana. You remember what I just said? Montana resident. That was really the clue there. Sorry, I just As got to confused. the location. He's seen something, did not he? He's seen something. And he'll flying. We've got it. Look who's paying attention. <laughs> you know you're in trouble when Kevin Bridges is the star pupil. Oh. All right. Last one in this round. In October, the Labour Party started selling T-shirts with the slogan, Sparkle with Starmer, printed on them. <laughs> Why? What? They do that. Sparkle with Starmer? Why? All right, you ready for answers? You're ready for answers. Cool so you ready. So First ready. First up, I asked you if you knew the nickname Dominic Cummings revealed staff at number 10 had given Boris Johnson. Well, what did you put? Let's go through these. Richard Mel? Well, I put the main asshole. And you went for? Well, I slightly boring. I think I might have gone for the right answer. Yeah. <laughs> Trolley? Oh! Oh, shit! That right, that is it. <laughs> Trolley. Well, I don't want to ruin the jeopardy, but yeah, that is it. Yeah, oh, that, I mean, that's... <laughs> <laughs> Trolley is the right answer because he was yeah. all over the place. Well, let's check in. Rosie, Catherine, what did you go for? You thought the Widowmaker. The Widowmaker? <laughs> oh, the Widowmaker? Um, I thought I remember Fort Pig. <laughs> oh, you're, you're close with... But it's, it's a related thing, but Trolley is the right answer. Mo, Kevin, what did you put? We put the Trolley as well, man. Because I remember reading it at the time, and I yeah. was like, how did... As if they know what a wonky shopping trolley is like, Tory. They'll throw his home delivery, man. They're, they're... <laughs> they call him the trolley because, like a supermarket trolley, he changed directions. And apparently, supermarket trolleys do that. I've not been to a supermarket, but I hear they're lovely. <laughs> Cummings also re uh, revealed he had a nickname for Boris's cabinet at the time, uh, which was Useless Fuck Pigs. Technically, Boris Johnson is in the cabinet. Yeah. Ooh. Mic drop. <laughs> He's one of the useless fuck pigs, isn't he? Yeah. Because it's Christmas, you get a point. Yeah. yeah. All right, you all get points. I asked you what Donald Trump tweeted after his two-year absence from oh, that's Twitter. Easy. What did you put? I Back. think he said something along the lines of never submit Ooh. <laughs> to your own heart. He just put never submit. Or the other thing was... Um... I thought he said something like, um, or indictments, boom, or something like that. <laughs> Sorry, do that again because something happened with your voice. <laughs> <laughs> Four in four. How, how like does it speak? Yep. Four in this. Yep. Four indictments. <laughs> boom. It's a soft mouth, isn't it? Four indictments. Boom. Yes. That's it. We've got it now. We've yes. nailed it. Four indictments. Boom. It's so good. Something like that because of his indictments, and uh, then he just not enough people do impression anymore. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, Rosie, Catherine, what did you put? Well, we're not on X, so no. I just thought he unveiled a hashtag Trump 2024 because he never gives up. 
All right, Mo, Kevin, what do you think? It was a link to his OnlyFans page, wasn't it? Like his own, <laughs> like his, his own social media site, wasn't it? It was something, he was promoting something, anyway. Uh, well, no, I'm surprised no one got this. I, I, I'll back, show you what he I think. There it is. Hang on, let's oh. <laughs> That's right. Yep. Oh, I forgot, Ooh, man. Uh, that was like the one of the most iconic pictures of the year is that. That will go down as one of the most iconic photos possibly ever. Yeah, right yeah. There. The first U.S. president that's ever had that done to them, ever. And way to go out. Way to do it. Right. Yeah, yeah. You don't yeah. have a happy face. You mm -hmm. gotta have that face. I'm, yeah, I'm okay. I thought, the, I thought it was... I thought it was I'm back, but I guess there you go. There you go. Because I don't Let's... know that that blew everything up, man. Yeah, yeah. But, but, yeah, yeah. Never... It was the, it was the, the mug shot. We were looking for the mug shot. Oh. And then they started selling Never Surrender merchandise, which oh. was ironic because he had surrendered <laughs> to a police station to get that photo taken. So, <laughs> all right, next I asked you why this man went viral at the King's coronation. Mo, Kevin, what did you put? Uh, we put it was at one of your parties. <laughs> Catherine, Rosie, what did you think? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, again, we were split. I think maybe he fell asleep. What an amazing moment to be in the audience for that, but he just fell asleep. Yeah. And Rosie. And I think it's Judy Finnegan. <laughs> oh, no. Is it Judy Finnegan? It is not Judy Finnegan, but you're you're on the right lines. <gasps> Let's go live to Mal Gedroch. Yeah. I think he might have had something to do with the music of the show. And and thought he was in disguise, so everyone was saying, Oh, who is it in disguise? Lols, is it Meghan Markle in disguise? <laughs> uh, wasn't it something to do with that? It was a yeah. sort of I mean... lolsy on the media social platform. Like the film White Chicks. It... Uh. <laughs> yeah, so people on social media thought it might be Meghan Markle in disguise. It was, in fact, uh, Sir Carl Jenkins, and he's a composer. He wrote a piece of music for the uh, ceremony. Yeah. Uh. I asked you what Montana... OK, OK. I, when I was around and hosted the uh, watch party for the coronation of King Charles III, I'll admit I it was super early and I was super tired as well, and I to this man a lot not for Did that he fall asleep? I, I i some people thought he fell asleep or that mm. he was just he was megan markle in disguise yeah huh interesting <laughs> thing cool yeah mm. resident chase doke was talking about what what did you put the big balloon the ch they thought it was a check well i don't know i think it was a chinese spy balloon remember yeah oh, oh. Now. <laughs> what, what did, Rosie, what did you write? A big balloon. What, what did you write? A big, big bird. You think you saw a big bird and that made the news? <laughs> I saw a big bird. Well, it's in the movie. I bet that birds are, like, really big. <laughs> Enough. Have you seen that. Sesame Street? There. Hang on, what happened to Big Bird? Are you wearing him? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Big Bird, what, what do you guys get for this? Richard, Mel? I put the new host of this morning. You thought he saw the new host of this morning flying <laughs> overhead? It would make the news, wouldn't it? I mean, that's inarguable. It was, of course, the Chinese spy balloon. I asked you why Labour started selling Sparkle with Starmer t-shirts. What did you put? We put, why not? Great answer. Why not? Why not? There was a protester threw a glitter on him. That is true, though, isn't it? Yeah, they glitter bombed him. Uh, you've got a picture. So that guy, I uh, was going for electoral reform, like a, a change to the voting system. Have you ever had glitter in your eye? Yeah, it's I, very no, I never... dangerous. It can turn you gay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you better be careful with that glitter now. Oh shit! I'm just glad that he it, that triggered Jimmy Carr laughing. Yeah, because, finally. Yeah, uh, he can't go uh, an upload without him going. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, you know? very true. Very true. It's not, it's not, it, he needed to. He needed yeah. to. Yeah, yeah, that's essential. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what did you put for this? No ads for. I put glitter bomb. I put glitter bomb. You put glitter bomb. Like the Labour Party conference. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, let's see what that's done to the scores. Rosie, Catherine, you have one point so far. Richard Mel, Mo, Kevin, you've both got three. Three? Yeah. Okay. Okay, right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Time for break now. But just like David Cameron, we'll be back to annoy you again in a bit. See you in five. Welcome back to the Big Fat Quiz of 2023. Our next round is all about music. In October, Liam Gallagher recorded announcements 
for Manchester's tram network. Manchester's Metrolink has eight lines, much like Liam did every morning before breakfast in the 90s. <laughs> girls Aloud reformed after an 11-year hiatus, but the girls say they will not be releasing any new music. So, it's not all bad news. <laughs> all right, questions on music. For our first question, it's over to self-esteem. Hi, Jimmy. You know me. I'm always banging on about women and female empowerment and all that, so I was delighted to see Ariana DeBose's BAFTA rap back in February, celebrating all the women in the room. She went viral for her lyrics, complimenting the likes of Jamie Lee Curtis and Kate Blanchett. But what line did she use to compliment Angela Bassett that confused viewers? OK, so... Uh, Self Esteem wants to know what lyrics Ariana DeBose rapped about Angela Bassett at the BAFTAs that confused yeah. everyone. She did rap about all the ladies there. Is this it? I have no idea. Is it Thank You Next? Is it DeBose? I don't, I don't De even know who that is. I don't know. Uh, maybe we're just getting older. <laughs> she uh, plugged in as much. I think my, my days that I'm not plugged in. Oh, my yeah. God. OK, why did this fairly mundane Instagram story from pop superstar oh. Dua Lipa showing her cooking for her friends and yeah. fam make headlines back in June? That looks rough, doesn't it? What is that? <laughs> what is that? Is that... Asparagus? Uh, Asparagus? Fries? Like zucchini with an egg on top? Or... that? It, like, that's not an egg. Is it a poached egg? I don't that's... know. Whoa. Hear me out, bro. No one in this new generation knows how to light anything and cook something. So that is her, that, that's probably her most that she did. Egg yeah. on top of oh, asparagus matter. or sure. pick, uh, is that pickles? That better not be pickles. I don't know. If it is, look, I, just... I like levitating, but that's pretty much it. I yeah. don't know, man. I don't know. The vegetables, Kevin. Oh, my God, man. We have yeah. got this! American rapper and singer Doja Cat stole the show at the Met Gala back in May. Honouring the Carl Lagerfeld theme, she arrived dressed as a cat. But can you tell me what weird thing she did during her interview with Vogue on the red carpet? This is a wind up this round. Uh, what? I don't think. Who is this? That's Doja Cat. <laughs> what is this? What's the title of this round? Music? Music, yeah. <laughs> who the fuck is that? Do you know who Doja Cat is? Yeah, uh, unfortunately. Uh, on ads and stuff, and I'm just like, Bleh. yeah, yeah. That song "Say So" it's basically bubblegum, not even bubblegum pop, just bubblegum. That sticks to the bottom of your shoe and follows you everywhere and ruins all carpets. Yes, what you said. Do you know Doja Cat? Yeah, I know yeah, Doja Cat. What kind of genre of music it's just is that? Like, it's just like pop, but there's nothing funny than you saying Doja Cat. That's the funniest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Say it again. Don't, I'll say it until I find out who she is. So do, who the fuck is Doja Cat? If you want to achieve that look, I've just been working on it over here. You just go like this. You know what you look like? You see the Grinch? You know the people that... Yeah, you look like... Grinch! Yeah. Well, now it feels like Christmas. OK. For our next question, it's over to anyone but you star Sydney Sweeney and Glenn Powell. Hi, Hi Jimmy. Jimmy. In our new movie, Anyone But You, we look like the perfect couple, but it's not exactly a love story. No. But speaking of love stories, I do have a lot of love for Taylor Swift. Not as much oh, as one God. of her fans who is on the news skipping work to queue for exclusive merchandise. Her interview went viral, but can your teams tell us what disguise she was wearing so that her bosses couldn't recognize her? Hang on. What? Oh. Speak up, Mel. A lot of the other teams didn't hear you. <laughs> so, whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing on your phone? The teenager is a big fan of Rosie and just wanted to say hello. <laughs> you? We're really good about it. Do you remember? Do you remember how funny it was when that wet Taylor Swift bunked off work? <laughs> oh. <laughs> about Taylor Swift. You said Taylor Swift. I'm listening. Do you remember Are you when asking we your Russell? daughter? No, no. She just me. I'm a mother. I have to answer the phone. Is anyone hurt? So what did she dress like? What, did she... what are you saying? What? Hang did up the, the phone, you... phone. This is no. your fault. You're going to state school. <laughs> Goodbye. Gotta give Catherine yeah. props for for trying to flat. If you've got a teenage daughter. It's a 90% chance that they're into Taylor Swift, so you got a 9 in 10 chance of getting that question right. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, I am I, I am on <laughs> yeah. all of these fucking questions. Yeah, yeah. At least the music one. Some of the, for the first round, I got a couple of them, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. All right, next question. Pop icon Madonna embarked on a world tour this year. In November, she confused the crowd in Germany by asking them to collectively do something on the count of three. What did Madonna 
ask the Germans to do? Okay. I don't know. Oh. All right, you all got something? Yeah, Catherine, Rosie? Yeah, we got do something have something. Down? All right, you got something, all right. All right, so, question one. Steam asked you what line Ariana DeBose rapped about Angela Bassett that confused the BAFTA viewers. What did you all get? Richard, Mel? It was something along the lines of... I don't know why I'm looking up at that angle. That's really weird. <laughs> Help me down again. I can't you're remembering. Oh, there we go. It was something along the lines of... What the hell's she doing here? It was a bit mean. It, it was as weird. much like yeah. Columbo as yeah. you made it sound. <laughs> but it was, we thought maybe it was reverse engineered from something like facets, or she has multiple facets. It's Angela Bassett. I think we don't know. <laughs> That's it. We could have saved ourselves a lot of bother. <laughs> Mo, Kevin, did you get this? I thought she might have said, big up Tina Blood Clark Turner, because she played <laughs> Tina Turner. No. <laughs> Catherine Rosie, what did you put? This I know. Angela Bass said the da thing. I've spoken like someone that watched this a million times. <laughs> that was so bizarre. Yeah. What did she say? Angela Bass said the da thing. I mean, it's an energetic and enthusiastic performance. I'd be amazed if you get through this without having to look away cringing. Oh, it's good so luck, good. everyone. Oh. Pointing and leading, all here I presume. Hong Chao, Dolly D. Carrie and Carrie with the C. Day Mama, I'm so fond. And a girl, you were great and blonde. Daniel D, you broke my heart. Michelle, I've loved you from the start. Angela Bassett did the thing. Viola Davis, my woman king. Blanche Kate, you're a genius. And Jamie Lee, you are all of us. Oh, oh. come on now. So, this rap's over now, is it? That's what Doja Cat sounds like, basically. <laughs> OK, Angela Bassett did the thing. <laughs> is the thing. Did the thing is the right answer. Did the thing. I asked why uh, this mundane Dua Lipa post made headlines back in June. What did you all think? I didn't think she cooked it. I think someone else made it and she made that like it was hers. OK. And then I said, did somebody say, just eat? I thought that was it. If you were over at Dua Lipa's and that's what she cooked, you'd, well, you'd make your excuses, man. <laughs> you would <laughs> leave Dua Lipa's house if she served that? A hundred percent, mate. <laughs> it's a massive red flag, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Catherine Rosie, what did you get for this? I think it's when uh, John was performing at Glastonbury. And everyone thought she was going to come out and uh, perform with him. But she was like, now I'm busy eating green shit. Yeah. Well, she's very busy because he actually cooked that and then she had to yep. do some chips for Kev. Yeah. Mel, Richard, did you get this? We did. At Glasto. During Elton Glasto, she was supposed to be there. Yeah. 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 So uh, Elton said during the show, the person I did the song with isn't here, so I'm going to ask you to sing her part. Please sing Ooh. it loudly. Look at that. <gasps> Fabulous. All right. Next, I asked you what the... Oh! Cold heart. Like, wow. this was Elton John's final performance ever at Glastonbury. And she wasn't there? And she wasn't there. She was having whatever the fuck that was. Like, seriously? You collaborate with the one of the greatest singer-songwriters of all time, and you can't even be bothered to turn up for their final performance? The fuck's wrong with you? These new kids, man. These new mm -hmm. kids. No damn respect. None. Doja Cat, <laughs> as it will now be pronounced. What Doja Cat did at the Met Gala? <laughs> what did you write? What did you think? Wasn't she, like, purring, acting like a cat? He's done like all the heavy lifting in this room. Uh, this is passed right over my head, the whole thing. <laughs> OK, so purring like a cat. Catherine, Rosie? We didn't know so I'm guessing she looked her own ass. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mel, Richard? Uh, she did meow, I think. And then urinated in cat litter. Point, no point. Well, let's, let's take a look at the bizarre and unique interview. Here it is. Wow. OK, so something a little different. So what was your inspiration for tonight? Be honest with me and go into detail. Wow. 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 Yeah. So what are you excited to see in there today? Wow. Is it your first, oh. Matt? Wow. I'll see you in there. Wow. It really takes the edge off climate change. Stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I, I, I. I, I hate, I hate that I had to sit through that. This, this is, this is it, man. This is the future, man. This, you no, know? mm. like, this is the 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 future, right? The future world leaders, all that good stuff is coming out of this generation. Get the fuck out of here. Hopefully, we're, it skips. We're, we're doomed, man. We're just doomed. Fuck. We better 
find a new country to live oh in God, for 2025. Dude. All right, whatever. Papua New Guinea, 2025. All right, we there we go. We got it. Jesus. I know the world is ending, but I know what can our future <laughs> be leaving for our kids? What, what can our kids be leaving for the future? <laughs> Maybe the planet wants to die. <laughs> that is unacceptable. Oh. All right, so uh, Sydney Sweeney and Glenn Powell asked what disguise a Taylor Swift fan wore to avoid being recognised. What did you put? We think he dressed yes, as uh, the coronation man. Lizzie <laughs> Catherine, what did you get? I think she hid under a blanket. Yeah. Okay, Mel, Richard? Tinua uh, Achebe. What time? He he won a Nobel Prize. Um, he he things fall apart really good. <laughs> oh, you're so close. It's a good disguise. <laughs> so close because you're sitting next to them and they got it right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I gave them the answer. Yeah. <laughs> well, why did you write? It? Oh, hang on. I she did. did write it. She did write it. Next. Points, points, no points. Have a look. But we have a special surprise for you guys. There are two Swifties here who shall remain anonymous, who called in sick to work. That's exactly how he looks. That's what he looks like. Well, you get the point for blanket, so well done. I asked you what Madonna asked an audience in Germany to do. What did you put? We could just thought Vogue. One, two, three. Because I saw her daughter voguing, 11 years old, it's like amazing at it. Uh, Richard, retrain as dentists. <laughs> On the count of three, everyone, retrain as dentists. <laughs> what did you uh, get for this? Fart. We, we said fart as well. He's, he's no. Fart well, man. well, let's have a look at this unique and remarkable request. I hear you like fart jokes. Is that true? You like fart jokes? So if I count to three, could you all fart on cue? No, I'm serious. I'm gonna count to three. If you can right. make yourself fart, I want you to do it. Don't shit on it. What? <laughs> One, two, three. That, that's not a fart, no. That's when you have a bet with someone who's like, you can't fucking make them all fart. You watch this. <laughs> well, like, <laughs> and well, if I was in the audience, I'd buy a hundred quid a ticket. You fucking fart, Madonna. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now it's time for a special. <sighs> Why? Why would you ask a whole audience she, to fart? Well, she's getting old, man. She's getting. She's she's at a point, man. She's too old. There's okay, a fine. there's there's a pasture out there for her somewhere. Yeah, you know yeah. where she can gracefully go. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, if you're kind of just... losing it up here, maybe it's your, your time. time. Mm hmm You're definitely not like a virgin anymore <laughs> when it comes to <laughs> your career. <laughs> No. <laughs> Good uh, Bonus round. Uh, this is the part of the show where I introduce a mystery guest. All you need to do is tell me who they are. Uh, however, you can only ask them yes or no questions. So please welcome our mystery guests. Please, <laughs> great to have you here. This is Andrew, Jackie, Annie and Sharon. So you can ask them yes or no questions and write down the answers as soon as you think you know why they made the news. Are you the next phase of Marvel? <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Oh, valid question. Moss, I know your name is Richard Moss. Mm -hmm. I don't care yeah. who you are. Can't get your last name <sighs> right, so just going to say Richard or... Valid question. <laughs> I love that. Are you... <laughs> anyway. It's <laughs> uh... a very good guess, but this is the music round. Oh, okay. Oh. Do you Be work together? Yes. Did you perform with a big artist? Yeah. Yes. 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 Have yes. any of you ever shit yourself at a Madonna concert? <laughs> no. <laughs> Was the big artist a man? No. Was the big artist American? No. no. Was the big artist Kylie Minogue? Yes. <laughs> wow. Okay, write down your answers. If you haven't got it now, you're not going to get it. Well, right. not UK, Kylie yes. Minogue. That's how I did that. Yeah. Did you recreate a famous video? Yes. Wow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is the um. You got to name the thing. Okay. Name the thing that you don't know the name of. Oh, he knows this, but he doesn't. <laughs> it's in there somewhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, so, Mo, Kevin, what do you think? So, I think they recreated the Ki a Kylie Minogue video. We think it's the song Can't Get You Out of My Head. Mm. All right, so, Rosie, Catherine? So, we thought something to do with her damn company. Mel, Richard, what did you think? My detective partner has written TikTok how it's meant to be spelt, actually, with, with C's. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you spell it, TikTok. It is. <laughs> oh. What song have you written? They did a TikTok to Padam Padam. Well, uh, who are you and uh, why did you make the news? We are Hobbycraft colleagues and our TikTok of Kylie Minogue's Padam Padam viral. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. All right. Good. 
Never so, saw uh, it. Well, let's take a look. Here they are. You could, so, slow day in Hobbycraft Wimbledon? We don't have slow days, we work in retail. Of course. They don't exist. <laughs> what happened there, then? There's no-one in the store and you're doing a dance. <laughs> yeah, this is right. And so, did you... Did Kylie answer back? Did she see yes. it? Yes. She, we were really lucky. She duetted with us because she'd seen it and loved it. Wow. And then we got to be the special guests on her radio interview. Oh, wow. Nice. Cool. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's let's turn on the scores. Uh, so Rosie and Catherine, you've got five. Mo, Kevin, you've got five. In the lead, Richard and Mel with eight. Yeah. All right. Give it up for the Hobbycraft team. Wow. We're gonna have a dance. Wow. See you after the break. Sure. <laughs> Welcome back to the Big Fat Quiz. Okay, so I got a bone to pick with this music round. Where's Oliver Anthony? No, it's well because you, you get a lot, lot of All stuff. Right. UK world stuff. That Oliver Anthony is very centricized, very less. There's a lot less um, red flags around him. Or a lot more. You know what I'm trying to say. It's more red flags around More red him. flags around him, yeah, apparently. Yeah. So so this is the, the easy out. It's like pop music. Like. Yeah, pop yeah. music. Yeah. Country doesn't make it over the pond, dude, ever. It doesn't matter. Well, not as much. It's more niched than yes. uh, in America. Yes. It is being smuggled in on tiny cigarette boats. Right. Just like the NFL and NASCAR are yep. very niched there. Yeah. Even though it, it does happen over there. It does. Happen. It does you know. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's all pop. All like the big E! News. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. It, that oh, shit. Well. So. Oh, well. Of the year, unless you've only just tuned in, in which case, don't worry, you've not missed much. <laughs> this round is all about film and TV. In October, Colleen and Wayne Rooney released a documentary about the Wagatha Christie trial. The documentary was on Disney+, Plus, which caused some confusion, as a lot of kids saw Wayne in the trailer and thought there was a new Shrek film. <laughs> <laughs> Ready for TV and film questions? Of course you are. All right, back in September, members of the public were bidding thousands of dollars for actors to offer relationship advice, paint watercolours of their dogs, and solve their crosswords. All I want to know is why. Oh, yes, yes. Fresh what? from his hit Netflix series, it's over to the legend that is Robbie Williams. Hey, up, Jimmy. I've spent most of the year touring yeah. the world, but when I am home, I love a movie night with the kids. Barbie was, of course, one of the biggest movies of the year, and I couldn't help but notice a new term being coined off the back of it. It had celebrities and psychologists attempting to define it. But can your teams tell me what that term was? So Robbie wants to know what term was coined off the back of the Barbie movie? Barbenheimer? I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm with you on that. What? Uh... Uh, I unfortunately have seen the Barbie movie. Oh yeah? Um, uh -huh. Without spoiling it, uh, what did you think of it? And be honest. Brutally honest, I think it had its funny parts. Okay. Um, if I was just watching it as a sentient human, uh, but watching it as a man, uh, I'm glad I watched it once. Right? Just to say you did. Just to say, okay, fair enough. Now, it would have been balanced if I watched Oppenheimer too, but I haven't gotten to it. All right. Haven't gotten to it. I guess that's our next, uh, when you do come down, we're watching, uh, we're doing... Barbenheimer. Jesus. <laughs> is it time to pull out the Polish handmade uh, cherry brandy? It is. <laughs> That's not a euphemism. Guys, is there if anyone wants it? Can I try some? Handmade <laughs> by my up. friend. I want them. some. I love you. Oh, oh, I, I have it now, she did... Are you going to wake up in a dumpster? Right. Rosie, do you want some? Nice. Yeah. 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 Rosie oh. and I would like some, please. It's very sweet, yeah. though. Oh, yeah, no, you would imagine. <laughs> Jimmy, do you want a little... I'm, I'm I'm cutting right down on cherry brandy. Okie dokes. <laughs> Jimmy only drinks WD-40. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> right, <back in. laughs> I mean, he does kind of look like a puppet. So he really does. He, he does really kind of need the WD-40 sometimes, you know? <laughs> if there was anyone out here who was a robot in human, in, in like rope and human disguise, it'd be Jimmy. He's actually doing some U.S. dates uh, not pretty soon, so huh. I don't know. Maybe we should look 
and Maybe. go to his show and see if he, if there's like you know a wire sticking out of the back of his uh, suit. <laughs> yeah, right, right. My God. In March, Gwyneth Paltrow was cleared of all charges in a ski collision trial against a retired optometrist. What iconic parting words did she whisper to her accuser as she left the courtroom? Uh, oh. It was so good, and I can't remember. It was okay. so funny. It is good. Yeah, it was really passag. Passive aggressive, but she's in a super hurry, so <laughs> passag. Dang. Take a look at this clip of Greg Wallace and Michelle Rue Jr. on Channel 4 in July. Right. Like a knife through butter, that is. Oh, wow. Mmm. That hardly needs chewing. The, the programme received hundreds of complaints, with viewers saying it made them feel sick. All I want to know is why. What TV moment of the year prompted these viewer reactions? Why would they do that? You were my purpose. There's no way that I did it again. And I literally had, like, a full... I don't know if it's a breakdown. What? Okay, what prompted those reactions? You were my purpose. Why would they do that? Indiana this is Jones. so much sadder than in the game. TV moment made it happen. All right, you've all got answers. Yeah, what, what, which one do you think it was? Uh, in a game, I don't know, but um, I thought I thought before it was a game. I thought it was what they did to Indiana Jones. Oh, huh. so uh, I don't know. Squid Game was Squid Game this year or last year? I have no idea, dude. I I, I, I need to know. Mm -hmm. I need to know now. What the yeah. hell was that? So let's let it play then. Baby. I asked why members of the public were bidding on experiences with actors. What did you all put? Slavery cults. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, sag strike. It was a sag strike. Oh. Rosie, Catherine. We put to create income during the sag strike. OK. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and Mo, Kevin? We, we, we put the strike. Mo we... forgot how to spell the word strike. I did. <laughs> They got it, in, nailed it in the end, <laughs> as you can see. But this is a modern show, man. Why are we typing? They're like William Shakespeare. Can't you get, like, a, um, a keyboard or something? <laughs> Why are we typing like William Shakespeare? <laughs> Sorry, you mean I writing. I don't, I don't the write. word you're searching for there is writing. <laughs> it, it was the charity auction to support the SAG <laughs> after a strike. Natasha... Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh... It was the, the strikes earlier. Actor strikes and writer strikes. Yep. What did Natasha Lazaro do? The right. star of Orange is the New Black raised $6,300 by helping someone with that crossword. John Lithgow painted a duck for $9,700. Oh, wow. Right. Robbie Williams asked what term was coined off the back of the Barbie film. What did you put? It was, I swear it was a mix of Barbie and... Oppenheimer or something, but I think he's talking it. specific to this movie. I thought Barbieheimer was the one about going to see the two movies, wasn't it? Yeah, but that wasn't... Oh, uh, no, wasn't it? I understand that, Jimmy. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm that's, that's what I thought it was. Did you write that? Oh. Yeah, so Barbie and the other film with the bomb. The other film. Oh. I didn't know oh, it was shit. The other film with the bomb. What do you think it is? I think it's something to do with Ken. I Ken. Thi I think it's something to do with Ken. Uh, let me yeah, see. Yeah, 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 okay, okay. Okay. Uh, oh. Yeah. Uh, listen, I'm dyslexic. Oh. You must put an open brother. You're all right. Ken. <laughs> okay. Come on, man. Enough. I can just about spell strike. <laughs> Rosie, Catherine, did you get this? Well, oh, no. we both watched it. We thought it might be He's Just Ken, because I saw that used a lot of places and memed. Oh, and you're, you're, yeah. you're close. Ken's, yeah. Ken's all right. Richard Mel? White well, supremacism and then Kennedy. Is, is the way, right you know, answer. Oh, no. oh, you were close. You were close. Oh, man. Kennedy. Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, come on, it's Ryan Gosling. How, how can you not have Kennedy? Kennedy, Just being dude. Ryan Gosling in general. Dude. Ah, fucking Ryan Gosling. It was, of course, Kennedy. I wanted to know what Gwyneth Paltrow's final words were in her court case as she left. What, what, what do you think it was? I'm dying to know. What, what did you write? Good luck to you. I think it's something like that. Well, it was. It's too late, but I, I think I actually know the answer, but we never wrote it. I think she just says something like, I wish you all the best. Or something. It's, it's I wish you well. Which it was quite a nice thing to say, but it was very... Chilling. We didn't know, so I, I said... It was chilling. It was I awesome. said, you're on thin ice. I think that would have been cold. That would have been... <laughs> <laughs> but that's like a thing Bond says after yeah, he's killed him. Yeah, but that would have been yeah. cold, man. No, I love it. Yeah. Uh, Richard, That Mel? was no joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very nice. What have you got? I wish it said, hang tough, big boy. <laughs> <laughs> just because I just... We think it was actually I wish you well. well. We've written it in the middle. I, I wish, wish you well. well. I can see it. Like, I luck. wish you well. Well, let's have a look. 
This court is now adjourned. Thank you. Let my client slip out before. Yes, everyone remain seated while the parties leave. I'm going to make a quick statement. Ms. Paltrow is not going to be making a statement today. I wish you well. She said, I wish you well, but it came across as. Uh, <laughs> next, you saw a clip of Greg Wallace and Michelle Rue Jr. eating. Why did it prompt complaints? What did you put? We've got us. All right. What I would say, because I don't know anything about this, is that uh, they showed it to a chant on an all vegan channel. Um, uh, maybe that was impossible meat. And they showed yeah. it on a meat channel. Maybe. It could go either way. I think so. Yeah. This man, it was a, a mockumentary, and they were pretending to eat people. Like a cannibalism type mockumentary, but people took it serious. I feel like that's fine. Uh, what? <laughs> what? Eating human flesh? Well, yeah, because there's consent involved, presumably. If you're dead, and you want your organs to be donated, you can choose that. <laughs> if you want to be cremated, you can choose that. Maybe you want to be eaten, and you can choose that. And then there's very little waste. I want to go in the green bin. But you, your answer was? <laughs> you <laughs> meat prank. How have you made a human meat prank even creepy? <laughs> uh, Richard Mel? Anus meats. Well, I don't know if I could eat a human, but that is definitely where I'd start. Yeah, sure. <laughs> and, and spoof cannibalism. Spoof OK, cannibalism. so they got... 400 off comments because people didn't realize it was a it was a hoax documentary yeah. the british miracle meat was about a company that produced human meat for consumption okay i asked you what tv moment human meat for consumption so it is cannibalism so it was a mockumentary a mockumentary okay yeah okay. and so people just they just too uptight too uptight yeah. to yeah. have fun right now dude you gotta yeah. step back with that comedy shit mm -hmm. they, they didn't read the description or the title first Huh. So who does that sound like? Hmm. Wild, man. Wild. Yeah, everyone who watches our movie I... reviews. Oh, my God, dude. Right? Just read it. Everything yeah. that you need to know is there. Yeah, yeah. It's 2024. There's no excuses anymore to be that dumb. Yeah, pretty much. <sighs> oh, my God. Oh, well. Moment of the year. Upset viewers. What did you all think it was? Pip Schofield leaving. Oh, it was the... Oh, oh, based on a video game? Yeah. We right, also rewind. Jimmy Carr live and laughing. Not the name of any one of my specials. <laughs> well, no-one's been laughing. Curse you! <laughs> Rosie, Catherine. Wait, no, it was the last of us. Mo, Kevin, oh, the we last, last, last of us. It was the last of us. I wanted episode yeah. three, but I'll give you a line point, no point. Yeah. The last of us, episode three. Okay. okay, it's time now for a special bonus round. I'm going to show you scenes from films released this year which have been subtly improved with an appearance from me. Oh, All I want you to do it. is name that film. First up, here you go. I'm going to play a little Hendrix. Wow. Usually does the trick. Don't start. No, I'm starting. Oh, I always liked this tattoo. So did your brother. What? Is that... That's like that... Jason Statham, but AI Jimmy, Jimmy Carr. Carr. Yeah. Oh, man. Is that... Ah, there wasn't a new Transformers movie, was there? And when wow. Was the when, when was the Machine Gun Kelly movie out? It, I, that's only two that I'm thinking of. Man, I don't know. I have seen, other than our Patreon, I haven't seen any of movies out there. Besides okay. cartoons. All right. <laughs> I don't know. But Megan Fox, man. That was a celebrity crush in high school for There me. was a time. What film was that from? And I will need the number. Oh, come on. You need the number. Fuck. It, it did look like both people had had their faces replaced. Well, we'll never know because I bought this. <laughs> like a hat you can't take off. What did you write? Is that your... I think it might be four, but I'm not sure it could be three. <laughs> what? Not to say. What the fuck, man? <laughs> is, it, are you put, is this your real twist? Mate, <laughs> this is how I speak when I'm at home. <laughs> I don't know if it's four or it could be three. It's hard to tell. <laughs> Really good. Could be five. We've been making them for a while. This is your own voice. I swear. That was I was told you voice. before. <laughs> How many times I'd have to tell his character it's my real voice? <laughs> if I you put just... on the funny voice for the TV. All go, 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 go. <laughs> as soon as I get in the motor, slip it into first. It's like, That's pretty good. Fucking hell. Uh, uh, what did you write? You you put the. We put Expendables, and we didn't really know which one either. You right. guessed three. Which one have you gone for? Kevin, Mo? We didn't have a clue, so I thought it looks like an EastEnders Christmas special with Max Brannan. <laughs> it was Expendables 4. No! Oh! Expendables 4, OK. Yeah, Expendables 4. Yeah, we wasn't going to get that. Points to uh, Richard Bell. Let's, no! let's take a look at Jason Statham in Expendables 4 in the original action-packed scene. 
Here he is. You can sort of see... Yeah. <laughs> OK. Now, the last one, I should warn you, if you're of a delicate disposition, might be an idea to go and make a cup of tea. This is going to be quite distressing. Take a look. So if you could call me back today, that would be great. Oh, my God. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. Yeah. That's disturbing as hell right there. Jimmy, you look like Amanda Holden there. <laughs> 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 okay, so what have you got? It's a backward E in the middle. Oh, yeah. hey. Oh, I didn't... No. It's Megan. Megan with a backward E. Yeah. Megan with a backward E. Rosie, Catherine? Megan. Megan. With a backward. With a backward E. And Mo, Kevin? Megan. Well, take, take a look at the less terrifying killer doll, Megan, the original. Pretty terrifying. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see what that's done to the scores. I can tell you that uh, currently in last place, Rosie and Catherine with nine. Just ahead, Mo and Kevin with ten. Way out in front, Richard and Mel with 15. Yes. Wow. Ooh. All right. That is it for this part, but don't go anywhere because it's all to play for. To quote the last words of the captain of the Titan submarine, the pressure's on. See you in five. <laughs> Welcome back to the Big Fat Quiz. This next round is all about science and technology. In July, the new social media app Threads launched. Threads offered a brand new way for people all over the world to call each other Nazis and snowflakes. Yep. There were hopes threads would become part of our everyday language. And in a way, it has. As everyone said, I've just deleted threads. <laughs> in November, Collins Dictionary crowned AI as its word of the year. People are increasingly worried AI will destroy our civilization and enslave us all. Sad, really. China hasn't even had their go. <laughs> Have some more questions, this time from the world of science and technology. Question one, take a look at this clip from back in September. Oh. OK. All I want to know is, oh. what scientific discovery is in the box? Is that Al Paul Hollywood behind? Aliens. Yes. Oh, aliens. Is that aliens. where the, the... In Mexico, yep. where that mummified alien was? Yep, those okay. are the aliens right there. That's yeah. the coffin, I think. Maybe it's a cronut. Yeah. <laughs> All right, have a listen to this. Back in April, uh, millions of Brits heard it, whilst others complained they didn't hear it. All I want to know oh, is, what is it? Nas national emergency. <laughs> Probably. Uh, yeah, it's basically like in October of 2023 when President Biden texted all of us. Remember that? No, he does not have my number. I don't subscribe. I'm kidding. I didn't get anything. You didn't get anything with a okay. national emergency, whatever it was, texted all of us? Mm -mm. Oh, man. Or maybe. I don't know. It would make sense because you have the worst luck with connectivity as it is. So 100%. So that would make sense. All right, for our next question, it's over to The Vivian. Hello, Jimmy. Now, I love it when one of my social media posts goes viral, but one person I didn't think would be the star of the internet this year was the Pope. An AI image of him went viral back in March and got <laughs> everyone talking. But what was so remarkable about the picture? What was remarkable? <laughs> was that the one where he was wearing that... Like, like the, what the fuck, the white poofy jacket? Probably uh, something to do with AI, a cursed AI image. Oh, probably. I thought it was just when he was wearing the, the poofy jacket and all those rap memes. Oh, wow. that was actually a thing. Oh, wow. How about an AI picture oh. of the Pope? Oh, and that oh too. shit. Sorry. I noticed one. All right, here's an ex, formerly Twitter post from Liam Gallagher back in April, complaining about a new service on the social media app. Paying for blank blank just to prove how real you are is absurd, and you know what rhymes with absurd? Blank, I am he, as you are he, you are me, and we are all together. All right, I know this one. When Twitter was oh. paying, like Elon Musk announced that you have to pay to be verified and then like ser several different levels of verification basically it translates to uh i'm broke and all the advertisers left and we don't we need to make money somehow to keep this platform afloat that's that blue check mark right yeah that's the blue check mark which like y you only get that on youtube or tiktok or in instagram by you know having clout yeah and Twitter, you just buy that shit now. Nice. Or X, sorry. X. Yeah. Cool. And of course, Liam would be the one to set the record straight on things like yeah. this. His head yep. is screwed in correctly, despite what, what a lot of y'all want. I'm to think. me. We are we. He is we. Together, we are we. We. Do yes. you get that last line? Yes. What but is it's it? still, it's still, I just, I feel like 
I don't know. I'm you blanking. don't know what it is? I'm blanking. I thought I did. What is it? Is that it, I Am the Walrus by yeah. the Beatles? It's my ah. favorite Beatles song of all time. There you go. And so and, he was complaining about the, the verification. Yeah, the verification. Yeah. There you go. I would never pay for verification. Hell no. No, no. When we got 100K in 2023, all we had to do to get that check mark next to our name was to do a little verification, like somehow just click a few buttons saying that it's us. Yeah. That's it. No. Nope. That's all it should be. For real. That's mm -hmm. all it should be. But mm -hmm. stick a comma in there, Liam. <laughs> <laughs> Missing words, please. Big pictures. Nice. <laughs> Me. Next up, Mariam Mashiri is describing a scientific phenomenon on BBC News back in August. All I want to know is, what is she talking about? That was the case last night as the rare astronomical event took place for the first time since 2009. I'm so sorry, and I've picked to show you. It looked a little bit like this. There you go. Take care. See you in a minute. The photo didn't cue, so she said, "What?" it looked a bit like this. She's left herself wide open for a crude Photoshop there, aren't you? <laughs> That is some incredible girth you're working with there, Kevin. That is, you've got nothing to be ashamed of. Here we go. You all got the answers? I asked you what was in the box. What did you all put? Felt like it was a new snake discovery. A new snake! It's not a new snake, no. What, what have you got, Richard? No? Print, I think it might be a, pr a printer. Oh, my God. What? A new voice box for Jason Statham. Because he's working it very hard. Uh, Mo, Kevin, what did you write? Isn't this an alien? They found an alien, an ancient alien or something like that. That is the right answer. It was reportedly an alien's body. Let's have a look. Yep, that's it. Yeah. No. <laughs> that really that's not a fucking alien, man. That's the stuff you get at arts and craft shop that then people were coming at. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jaime Musan, a Mexican journalist and longtime UFO enthusiast, presented the remains to Mexican lawmakers. I don't know what laws they were going to make about that. Why has it got a mobile phone? All right. I asked you what this sound was. <laughs> was it some kind of warning? Like test so I think it, it went off on everyone's phone like a natural disaster. This is like last orders, the world's fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this is the sound you're going to hear. Everybody. I love the idea that uh, last orders is how you would describe it. <laughs> it was the emergency alert. Mm. Yeah. What, what yeah. did you guys get? Catherine, Rosie, did you get this? Yeah, it was an yeah. emergency warning on your phone, and we received a text warning us that it would happen, and then some people panicked because they did not get the alarm and I'm one of those people that just didn't go off. No last orders for me. They're like, she'll be she'll be all right. She'll figure it yeah. out. Yeah. Uh, Richard Mel. Mobile phone terrorist alert. Yes. Well, yeah. I mean that's it. Life threatening situations, Thank you. floods or terror attacks. Yeah. That was the warning. Okay, well, points, Lovely. points, points, points. Great. The Vivian asked you why uh, an AI created image of the Pope caused a stir. What have you got? I think that he had a what? hoodie or a face tattoo. It wasn't the <laughs> Pope as we're used to seeing him. OK, so the, the Pope, but he was wearing... What do you put? A hoodie. It was a kind of Brian Harvey thing, wasn't it? Yeah. It was a white puffer. East 17, kind of white puffer, oh, Brian white puffer. Harvey thing. He was I'll accept those. That's the right answer, that's the right answer. Have a look at what AI yeah. did. Yeah! Uh, oh, yeah. I want that. That looks good. There you go. Looks like he's ready for Top Boy. Summer House is fine. You were right, yeah. It was the Pope and a puffer. Cool. I asked you to fill in the blanks on the Liam Gallagher post. What did you reckon? When Twitter changed to like X or whatever, yeah. he had to pay for a blue tick. Maybe that says blue okay. tick. Blue tick, and then the third one? Absurd rhymes with, I'm going to guess, turd. I don't know the I'm guessing. It sounds great in your voice, though. Turd. Absurd. Yeah. <laughs> it's exactly the right answer. Did you get this, Rosie Catherine? Yes, we did. Blue tick turd. Are you calling me a blue tick turd? <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, Richard, Mel? Fibre optic broadband. When speeds are already fine. Can I just say, we also put blue tick we after blue our tick. silly answer. Yes. We put blue tick. Yeah. And did you put turd or...? No. OK. Does anybody actually still say X? No. No and one has we... ever said I think X. Ever... It's... I still think it's hard to call <sighs> Prince Charles the king. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, mm. I still see him as Prince Charles. I, think he's just... I have that with marathon and Snickers. For me, it's always a marathon. <laughs> yeah. It'll never be Sif, it'll always be Jif. Exactly. What about blooming opal fruits that now call themselves Starbucks? Bucks? Yeah, that's... Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is. Yes, it was, of course, blue ticks and turd. Lovely. And finally... As you were. Star... Starburst and something else? I know Marathon is what they call... What is Snickers? What else? I guess we'd have to go back to those uh, candy yeah. episodes. Yeah. Uh, trying all the British candies. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think so. Did yeah. you say opal? 
turn into starbursts. Interesting. That's so weird. Hmm. Finally hmm. asked you what the BBC news host was describing when she did this. The meteor, I what bet. We, we've gone with lunar eclipse. Lunar eclipse. Uh, what have you gone for, Richard Mel? Jason Statham's testicle. Yeah. <laughs> just, just one of them. The other one goes in the sidecar. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Mo, Kevin, what have you what have you got for this? There was like a Superman, but apparently one of them was blue. Oh yeah. And it was it happened twice quite close together. Yeah. That expression once in a blue moon is a lot more kind of frequent than you'd actually think. It was the closest full moon of the year, a blue supermoon. The next one won't be till 2037. Wow. wow. Oh. So that's not that long for that expression. Yeah. So that's got to be terminated then. Once in a blue moon means every 14 years. Like, Jimmy files his tax return once in a blue moon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. OK, it's time for I Say What You See Now. Oh. All I want to know is oh, what right. headline oh, no. do these oh. images represent? Don't say it out loud. Mel, I'm talking to you. It's a headline from this year. Like, like are they all individual headlines or is it w one headline? No, I bet you it's individual. I, no, I, don't, I have no idea. Huh. No bugs, idea. Bu bugs, house, Fez. Uh, hat, train, fireworks, pan, white guy, house, Paris Hilton. I don't know, what? man. So I got that right. Bed I don't know, <laughs> man. Dude. <laughs> pan. <laughs> I, what? No. Don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna I have no on. idea. Yep. I'm hungry. Okay. Daddy's hungry. Yes, please. Thank you, Rosie. Thanks, my love. Oh, thank you. Lovely. Yeah. Have you all got something down? Yes. yes. Uh, Kevin, Mo, what have you gone for? So it's bed bugs, infestation. Bed bugs, infestation. And then. In Paris. Okay. Sparkler <laughs> frying pan, Nick Knowles. <laughs> Sparkler <laughs> frying pan, Nick Knowles. <laughs> Rosie, Catherine? Red Bull Team Station to Bat Panic. Ah! Ah, oh, oh, fuck. We were man. It's Sparks Panic. Richard, did you get this? Yeah. Bed yeah. Infestation Sparks Panic in Paris. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, at the end of that round, the scores are. Let's have a look. Okay, still in last place, uh, Rosie and Catherine with 13 points. Uh, just ahead, Mo and Kevin with 16. In the lead, Richard and Mel with 19. I never would have gotten that. I didn't know that was an in. in. Would have uh, that. Yeah. Okay. In. Okay. Fair enough. Barks never gotten that. Oh well. That's it for this part. There's no cause for concern. That alarm is for us. It's just telling us that it's time to top up Catherine's Botox. See you in a bit. <laughs> Welcome back to the Big Fat Quiz of the Year. We're asking all the big questions, but in a fun, wasn't that a silly thing kind of a way, rather than a where were you on the night of the murder kind of a way. <laughs> and our next round, it's all about people. Nigel Farage's bank account was shut by Coots because of his views. Well, if banks are going to start closing people's accounts because they said something controversial, then I'm going to have to start keeping my money under my mattress. I say start. Will Smith's wife revealed that they've been separated for seven years. Now, I wouldn't normally refer to her as Will Smith's wife, but apparently I have to keep her name, and I quote, out of my fucking mouth. <laughs> In June, Sir Elton John headlined Glastonbury. Elton is now 76, which means these days when he shouts, I'm still standing, it's because he wants you to give up your seat. <laughs> In February, Nicola Sturgeon stood down, or stood up, hard to tell. She's the size of Mrs. fucking Pepper Pop. <laughs> All right, time for some questions. For your first question, it's over to Big Brother host AJ Adudu. Well, best. Hi, Hi Jimmy. Jimmy. Big Brother was back with a bang this year, and as always, it's been a blast. But being on TV every night, we don't half get through some outfits. Too right. But our outfits don't make the headlines like Sam Smith's do. Back in February, they arrived at the Brit Awards and became an immediate talking point. But can your teams remember what they were wearing? OK, so they want to know what headline-grabbing outfit Sam Smith wore to the Brits. Yes. Yeah. I think it was, like, some peacock-looking thing. I thought it was this, like, devil with horns thing. Oh, This latex oh. fucking what, monstrosity of an outfit. Yeah, that's some... I, I, you might be right on that. I, I think, think I'm thinking of something completely different. But, I, no, you could be right, too. I, I Like I said. Yeah. But then again, maybe that wasn't this year, 2023. Oh. Maybe that was earlier. Maybe. You know? Yeah. It's Sam Smith. What are you going to do? Very true. It was pretty memorable. Um, 
In November, Harry Styles made headlines just by being at a U2 gig in Vegas. Why? Why would... That was the debut of The Sphere in Vegas, and U2 had a residency there. And it might still be going, I don't know. But no idea. That's a totally a U2 thing to do, is stuff like that. Yeah, I'm there yeah. for it. Mm. There you go to a U2 concert. Because he likes U2. But why would you like U2? <laughs> Elon Musk joined Joe Rogan on his podcast back in October. But what was he talking about in this revealing clip? How much time uh, do you need to prepare? I don't need any time. No at all? No. How's your cardio? No, it's not. Oh. It's not that'll be a factor. Really? Yeah. Very <laughs> I, I mean... What's the likelihood of this actually <sighs> happening? I, like, I'm willing to do it anytime, anywhere, any place, any rule. Well, I think this stating it this way might yeah. accelerate this process, Great. especially on this platform. I mean, Maybe I challenge him to a duel under any circumstances. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Him... Kate's my fighting Mark Zuckerberg. Oh my God! Yeah. Yeah. Which, oh my God! Yeah. I I'm glad that that ended up not happening because you know two nerds fighting, you know. It's. But, but honestly, and here's my hot take, I think the edge would go to Zuckerberg because he was doing Brazilian jiu-jitsu and uh, some shirtless pictures of Elon Musk. He's like he's like a big has his, and he doesn't I... look good. So. I think the advantage would go to Zuckerberg. I don't know. Well, Zuckerberg's not human. Right, he's not. So, I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I'll put my mom Musk. I, I have to. Like, I just hate him. Uh, I, I would vote Musk because I hate Zuckerberg. So, <laughs> more than more than Musk. I'll put it that way. All right, fine, man. But no, that I want it to happen. 2024. Yeah, it would. It would be the most watched things of all time. Bro. That would be it. That would be the moment. Yeah. Of, of, yeah. of the century, almost. Shoot. Okay, so Elon Musk there, unashamedly bragging about his cardio. What is he talking about? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> it's good. All right. Ex footballer turned pundit Gary Neville went viral on social media yeah. for the surprising term he gives to three, four, or five day trips away. What term did he use? So Gary Neville went viral. For describing three, four, five day trips away as what? I don't know. How do you know that? Very confident, very clever. Now, for the last question in this round, esteemed actor Charles Dance is reading an extract uh -huh. from an autobiography released this year. All I want to know is who is the mystery author? My penis was oscillating between extremely <laughs> sensitive and borderline traumatized. I'd been trying some home remedies, including one recommended by a friend. She'd urged me to apply Elizabeth Arden cream. My mum used that on her lips. You want me to put that on my todger? I found a tube, and the minute I opened it, the smell transported me through time. I felt as if my mother was right there in the room. Then I took a smidge and applied it down there. Weird really doesn't do the feeling justice. <laughs> that was very... Oh, I don't know. Jimmy that's... Savile? No, that's Prince William's bio, I bet. Prince William? Or whoever. Prince Andrew. Whoever wrote a bio. Either that ha or... Oh, Prince Harry! Prince Harry! Harry. Or... Oh, my God. Oh, Prince Harry. Or didn't Biden's son have a book, too? Hunter Biden? Yeah. Didn't he have a book? I'd say it's either Hunter Biden or Prince Harry. But um, I feel like Prince Harry, uh, yeah. his book was more in the news. Yeah, and uh, plus he said Todger. So I'm going to go that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. Although I wouldn't put it past him to say something like that. He uh, does some freaky shit, man. man. Sorry, he's like a rock star. Oh, which God. is the opposite of his father. You know, he's he doesn't drink. He's an ice cream aficionado and... You know, other things I won't get into on here. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Very strong. Yeah. You don't do two seasons that of Game was... of Thrones without picking up some tricks. <laughs> Pretty that terrific. Was brilliant. All right, answers. So we wanted to know what headline gramming outfit Sam Smith wore to the Brits. What did you put? They had sort of an inflated limbs leather look. 
I don't know what one would call it, but they had this suit and it was puffed up and it was black. Inflated limbs leather look. Yeah. I love them, but they did look like another inflatable chest in the 90s. <laughs> uh, Mel, Richard? Inflatable black wings. OK, did you get this? It's a big inflatable black suit. PVC black bubble suit thing. I'd love to put it on and just jump right into a swimming pool. <laughs> it's quite relaxing, isn't it? Yeah, let's have a look. That's a spy balloon, isn't it? <laughs> it's all round. Okay. I... Yep. You were uh, right. Sam Smith did have the black leather thing. So you were right. Maybe what? I was thinking of another year that they did this. Oh, well. <laughs> Points to you. Thanks. Even though we're not playing a game. Yeah, thanks. I got one. Yeah. yeah. I asked you why Harry Styles made headlines around the world for being in the audience at a U2 gig in Vegas. What do you think? He farted on the count of three. <laughs> <laughs> that rate. Okay, uh, Rosie, Catherine, did you get this? We were not sure. I think Harry Styles would make headlines no matter what. We imagined Vegas, come off the red eye, maybe he fell asleep in the gig. Okay, uh, uh, what do you, Mo, Kevin? Did, did he shave his head? It, 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 doesn't, it definitely does skin at some point in the last couple of years. That's the right answer. He went full Kevin Bridges. <gasps> Take a look. Oh, wow. Oh, he Looks shaved really his head. I think... That's right, he shaved his head. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Both. Him and Morgan Wallen both shaved their heads, and social media was not having it. Huh. Yeah. Odd. Yeah. Well, I mean, that, that I social media looks... wasn't having it. That's not odd. That's just right, odd. Why right. they, they went full Britney. Cool. <laughs> yeah, full Britney, full Britney. Cool. A lot of people, very unkind people online, said he looked a bit like Ian Bill. Okay. <laughs> What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? Yeah. I wonder if Harry Styles touched his head and said, I've got nothing left. <laughs> well, he, he shaved his head, went to a U2 gig, and it made headlines around the world. God love him. All right. Elon Musk joined Joe Rogan on his podcast back in October. What was he talking about? I think he was challenging Mark Zuckerberg to a nerd fight. He was definitely challenging someone to a fight. That's the, that's the right answer. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. But I don't uh, be talking about playing one murder with you. Yeah. Richard Mel. I put he was going to climb inside himself, which I'd say it's a... I would like to see that. OK, so uh, what did you guys get for this, Mo, Kevin? You can read me. Uh, not from... <laughs> not from here, I can't. A bare bum boxing match with Jimmy Carr. <laughs> a bare bum box boxing match. <laughs> yeah, it was, he was talking about a cage fight against tech rival Mark Zuckerberg. They talked about the venue, there's rumours online He's been talking to the Italian Minister of Culture about the Colosseum in Rome as a possible venue. <laughs> but hangers for the audience to watch it. Something needs to be on the line, other than just two bored billionaires. But put, put winner takes it all, not winner takes. <laughs> SpaceX, like, absolutely <laughs> everything. Yeah. All right. Okay. So uh, I wanted to know. Okay. So in that particular case, if the both of their social media were on the line, I would root for for Musk to win because yeah. he would probably mess up Facebook and Instagram. Yeah. But then again, he would mess up WhatsApp and uh, MetaQuest, so I don't know. Maybe just Facebook and Instagram. Just, just take yeah. those. Interesting. Yeah, but you know what, though? I like that. Winner takes all. Yeah. Winner takes all. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm for that. I think the way uh, billionaires, uh, after, you start, after you reach of that, that heavy B word of billion, you need to, you need to fit. Yeah, yeah, that that would be entertainment. That's yeah. You put that on the halftime of the Super Bowl. That would be the best thing yep. ever. You have people tuning that. in, don't even care about football. Yep, I would watch that in a heartbeat. Yeah. So what term Gary Neville used to describe trips away? What did you put? We didn't know this one. We had no idea. We just put lads on tour. We what? didn't know. <laughs> lads on tour. Right. That's a fair enough guess, Richard Mel. Mini retirements, I think he said. Ah, uh, Rosie. Mini retirement. He did. He described what you and I might call holidays as mini retirements. Oh. Let's take a look at the uh, unique description in this revealing clip of Diary of a CEO. You can never really retire if you love work and you are relentless. But what you can have is mini retirements during the year. And that's what I've tried to do. I don't do it very well. So, I, for instance, this weekend, I'm going to Spain Friday till Monday morning. I call that's like a mini retirement. So that's a weekend. It's a weekend. <laughs> Mini retirement is where I basically can say for three days, I'm there and I'm, I'm basically taking. You know, I don't think about work. Now I will, but 
it's an argument for saying that some thoughts shouldn't be recorded. <laughs> which I think <laughs> podcasting has challenged. Charles Dance read from... Yeah, not everybody needs to be on a podcast <laughs> and have their thoughts recorded. The mini retirement, like, how... Welcome to Earth, man. It's called a vacation, come... maybe, yeah. or a weekend. Yeah, a getaway, you know? <laughs> mini retirement. Get the mini fuck retirement. Out of like, Ugh. on a mini retirement since, like, June 2022. Yep, I'm with you. <laughs> an autobiography, who was the author? Book of the year, I'd say. Yeah. What do you think, Mel? Prince Harry Spare. Prince Harry Spare. Catherine Harry! Rose. Okay, uh, Mo, Kevin. But we had Harry as He's well. He's no longer a prince, eh? We just put Harry. Is he still, is he still known as Harry? He's not a prince no more. Well, he is still a prince, but it's... He's having a money retirement. <laughs> Let's go back to Charles Dance, the one and only, for the answer. That was Spare by Prince Harry. Yep. Time for a special guest now, uh, known for putting the cha-cha-cha into Channel 4 News. Favourite, Christian Guru Murthy. <laughs> dance, baby, dance. Yeah, dance. Oh, yeah, please. Yeah, Thank you very much. Um, yeah. I mean, you're looking fabulous. It's very nice to have you on the show. Christian Guru Murthy, everyone. Give him a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice to see you. Thank how you. Was, how was Strictly? It was, it was, it was life-changing and wonderful. OK, and you have a question for us, I believe? I do. Well, see, I mean, I suppose normally when I'm not dancing, I'm known for harder questions. But one of the biggest TikTok trends of this year involved husbands, boyfriends, fathers and brothers yeah. being asked a simple question about history. Mm. What <laughs> was the question? Do you think about the, <laughs> the Roman, Roman Empire? Empire? Yes. Oh, my God. Mm. What an odd but yet interesting question that opened a lot of people's eyes to, to our, how our minds work. Yeah. You think about the bro, Roman Empire? Bro, yeah. All the fucking time. Like, no <laughs> bullshit. Like, that's, like, in my head. It's, like, once every, I, I think, every four, four or five hours. I, I just, I'm just on loop, man. Don't think about it at all. It's it's cool, man. No worries. I, you're, unless, you're not old enough yet. I guess I'm not. I'm not. I haven't gotten a whole history thing, no. even though that's, like, one out of every ten uploads we do on this no, channel. Yeah, man, you're good. You're still a creative. Wait until you're a, the broken. <laughs> until i've run out of creative juice there you go oh there you go still, all right note to self pick up more pot keep yeah, those creative 100%. juices flowing keep that third 100%. eye clean once once you start absorbing world war ii books holy roman empire is not too far away it's okay got it thank you for falling on that for me yep yep it comes for us all me. Oh, okay, I, we, I think we know this. I think yeah, yeah, they yeah, maybe know this. I know. Right? Okay. Uh, now, you opted not to leave your wife during Strictly. That seemed like an odd choice. Yeah. It was... <laughs> oh, my God. That show is losing its edge. Yes. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. When the news is finished, yeah, when you do this thing with the papers, what, why, what, why do you do this? Like, you finish the news and you... Is there anything actually... <laughs> I've always wanted to it's know It's a this very question. good question. Oh, my God. <laughs> There's nothing actually happening. There is scripts on the papers, but we don't read the scripts. Oh, well, I never knew that. OK, did you all get this one? Let's have a look. Let's see if they got it. Richard, Mel, let's go to you. Mm. Can you name any woman from the past? <laughs> Good one. Good it's one. Something like that. <laughs> something like that, OK. So close. Uh, Mo, Kevin? Got it exactly, I think. How often do you think about the Roman Empire? Uh, Catherine, Rosie? Uh, yeah, we've got the same. Yeah. OK, uh, what's the answer? The answer was, how often do you think about the Roman Empire? Yeah. The right answer? Yeah. Yes, yes, no. Really? Yeah. It'd be crazy yeah. to ask, how often do you think about the Roman Empire? Apparently it's like every day or something mad, isn't it? That was like, yeah. men were saying they thought about the Roman Empire all the time. Why? And it was very surprising. But let's, let's get to the straws. Um, OK, I get, it's still in last place. Rosie and Catherine with 18 points. Uh, Mo and Kevin just ahead with 20. Just ahead of them, Richard and Mel with 22. Oh, we're closing the gap. Oh, well, that's it for this part. I'm off for a mini retirement. We give it up for Christian Guru Murphy. Yes. Welcome back to the Big Fat Quiz of the Year, the show that tries to jog more memories than the staff at a care home. <laughs> this next round is all about sport. Taylor Swift began dating NS star Travis Kelsey this year. Kelsey is considered one of the greatest tight ends of all time. That is... Taylor Swift. In October, American rapper 50 Cent sponsored a Welsh under-14 girls football team. And if you're playing along at home, the answer is C. Way too much marijuana. In March, Gary Lineker was suspended by the BBC for criticising the government's immigration policy. Lineker says he should be allowed to voice his opinion. That's all very well. 
I don't remember Gary speaking up. Walker's changed cheese and onion packs to blue and salt and vinegar to green. It's madness, Gary. Take a stand. <laughs> Whoa, what kind of way is that to break it to Mel? Thank you, Kevin. <laughs> Thank you. It's OK. Time for some questions. First sports question over to footballing legend Michael Richards. Hi, Jimmy. Back in my playing days, I had a number of big physical clashes. And even now, we have a few in the studio. But can your teams tell me which sporting clash this year was described by viewers as the cuddle battle and the hugging match, featuring a reported 76 hugs in total? No idea. 76 hugs. Oh. Yeah, so what sporting clash of the year was described as the cuddle battle and the hugging match? Has to be rugby, salt right? Vinegar's blue or. <laughs> It's going to take so Well, long salt and vinegar. <laughs> Christ. Ah. I was very worried that this was going to happen. I need some. Yeah, if they've changed the, it there's unilaterally. There's very little left. Maybe you should be the new Doctor Who, but like real, real confused. <laughs> All right, so after Team Europe's Ryder Cup victory back in October, golfer Victor Hovland posed with his fellow teammates, wives, and girlfriends for this picture. Can you tell me why? Oh, my God. <laughs> kind of creepy. Because he <laughs> fucked them all. Golfers have a type, don't they? They, they do, yeah. <laughs> During Wimbledon back in July, the umpire had to issue a warning to the crowd mid-match, which commentators described as the most Wimbledon warning ever. What was it? So it was the most Wimbledon warning ever. Yeah. Don't chew so loud. Probably along those lines. Yeah. Probably along those lines. Yeah, probably. Was it? He was going to fart in three seconds. <laughs> Have a listen to this rousing rendition of the national anthem from the British Grand Prix back in July. Long to reign over us, God save the king. It's God save the king. Sorry, Richard, you're going to have to explain to Mel the queen's gone. <laughs> OK, all I want to know is who's singing. I don't know. <laughs> David Beckham released a Netflix documentary this year in which he showed off his beekeeping skills. He wanted to call his honey Golden Bees, but Victoria had a better idea. What name did she come up with? I've only seen the clip of him talking about his cupboard. Oh, I love him. Wait. Yeah, the cupboard bit was great. Wait, guys. Here's all my socks and all the pants. And another, in, another in there. I can do David Beckham. He's, do, he's got <laughs> Statham. That's nailed. We've done that, and now he's got DV. Obviously, he's, he's all my polo shirts in a row. That's strong. He's, in many ways, even more nasal than me, which is an achievement, especially at that level. <laughs> right, time for some answers. Micah Richards asked you what big sporting clash was described as the hugging match. What did you put? We thought it was a little boxy, boxy match between Tommy Fury and Kay is exactly the right answer. Oh. Wow. Yeah, there they are. Have a lovely little hug. Oh. Mo and Kevin, I think you've pretty much got this, haven't you? It's a half point, isn't it? We forgot the guy's name. Tommy Fury, and we knew it was some, as some YouTube asshole. Well, <laughs> you don't know KSI's name. Well, Kevin thought it was AJ. I just knew it was one of that kind of mob. I thought it was KSI or Tommy Fury. I met KSI on your show. <laughs> I know, it's awkward, because I know him too, but I, I didn't know. <laughs> 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 I didn't write it. It was me. I didn't write it. I you are like on in, this show. I feel like I'm in fucking court. This is stressful. <laughs> <laughs> what did you write? We got the sport right. Boxing. AKA boxing. We got the personnel wrong. AKA Anthony Joshua. Oh. oh. All right. So points there to Catherine and Rosie. Next up, I wanted to know why golfer Victor Hovland was posing with his teammates, wives, and girlfriends. What did you all think? We went for a one the John Terry Invitational. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good. I play golf. I actually and I used to play a lot more. But I had a golf and tutor, and they were so lovely. But they had to let me go because I genuinely kept. Falling over <laughs> in the bunker. And that's, uh, that's in bad form? Apparently, I won't go because I can't get the ball out the bunker. Mm. But then I was stuck. <laughs> What's your answer on this? What did you actually write? 
I've learned from previous questions that sometimes I'm too specific. So at first I guessed his partner's giving birth. And then I thought, well, maybe she's just not there. And then I thought, maybe he's single. And he, <laughs> this is an advert. Do you look like this? Are you a Hawaiian tropics model? That is the answer. Oh! It was because he was the only single player on the whole team. Uh, Mel, Richard, oh. did you get this? We just put power and generic creepiness. <laughs> power? <laughs> and you think he posed like that for, because of power? And generic creepiness. OK, good answer. <laughs> All right, uh, so, Catherine, Rosie, you can have a point there. Yeah! It's pretty close. Yeah. They're way behind. OK. I wanted to know what was described as the most Wimbledon warning ever. What have you got? Don't pop champagne. It startles them. OK, Mo, Kevin, what did you go for? The same thing, popping during the pool services. They were, somebody stop. popped a champagne cork and they had to announce it, don't do that. Mel? Yeah, the stop, same thing. Stop popping champagne corks. From their anuses. I can tell you, the umpire told the crowd to refrain from opening champagne during serves. I asked you who was singing... OK, so I said, uh, don't chew so loud. I mean, it's food-related. It's... Yeah. Uh, it, it's... I, I, I think if I was playing, I should get half a point. Yeah, for sure. At least half, or a very heavy quarter. How about a third? Yeah. Let's go with well, there third. you go. There you go. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, yeah. In the national anthem, terribly, who do you think it was? Mel knew. Damien Lewis. Rosie, Catherine, did you get this? Rosie also knew it. Damien Lewis, but we also wanted to clarify that he is... Ginger. To clarify that he's ginger. You heard it here first. <laughs> uh, Mo, Kevin, did you get this? What's that got to do with anything? <laughs> Everything I guess. Uh, oh God, I love that. He's ginger. By the What's... way, guys. The way. Listen, he's he's ginger, and everyone's just like, ah. Oh. <laughs> what? I love that. Oh, I'm gonna use that <laughs> next time. Any any comes up. Anytime anyone with red hair comes up, I'm just gonna be like, by the way, everyone. Just to clarify, he's ginger. <laughs> Jesus. Christ. Oh my God. Oh. We, we didn't get. We just wrote Ian Bill, so <laughs> we, we didn't get this one. It's going to be tough to get through this, everyone. We're in it together. Let's have a watch. Okay. It's unique and frankly awful. The national anthem, everyone. God save our gracious King. Long live our noble king, God save the king, send him victorious, happy and glorious. Just a moment yeah. silence, the day the music died. He should have been made to stay on the track for the whole race. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's the er yeah, let Lewis Hamilton take him out. Oh, oh okay, sorry, Max Verstappen, because he pretty much dominated the whole season. God. Oh, my God, that was pretty rough, man. Yeah, I don't really know that song too well, and I knew that was terrible. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> it's like Elvis on way too much Formula 44D. Yes, 100%. Sorry, for the younger generation, NyQuil. The older generation? Younger That's... generation. Did I say younger or older? You said younger. Do they still make 44, Formula 44D? No. no. I don't know what that is. That, I was that always was... NyQuil and Tussin. Yeah. That was the, like the pre-NyQuil uh, and... Got it. All Got that. it. I did That's... not know that. I'm there for it now. Okay. Yeah. Because Elvis didn't drink alcohol. He drank Formula 4. He took cough medicine. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. Earnestness. Yeah. Because you yep. could have a laugh with it and be just fine, but it's how... Before he even opens his mouth, it's the earnestness yeah. that's slamming my vagina shut. Yeah. All right, I asked you what Victoria Beckham suggested David should call his honey. What, what did you all think? We went with two B come one, but for an extra point, we gave you an old school S that you do in school, so if we can get a point for that. You thought that maybe would add value. Come out, man. Rosie, Catherine? Well, I remember this because I agree. Uh, Victoria's really funny in that, Doc. Yes. Yeah, she's and hilarious. She, she is. And she's come up with DB's sticky stuff. I, I knew it was something like that. Like, yeah. Yeah. DB's sticky stuff is the right answer. I presume you got it, Richard, Mel? Yes. All the sticky bits at Well, the end. you say we. <laughs> OK, so we're saying no Boy. points. Oh, oh come yeah. on. I, I don't make the rules. Jim, I'm joking. On. I do. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Let's have a look and see what that's done to the scores. OK, uh, I thought it couldn't be closer. Mo, Kevin, you're now in last place with 21. Oh, shit. OK, Rosie, <laughs> Catherine, you've got 23. In the lead still, Richard and Mel with 24. We're going to take a quick break now, but you have to promise you'll come back. It's the same system as prison day release. See you in five. <laughs> Welcome back to the final part of the Big Fat Quiz of the year, and it couldn't be more exciting. Trust me, we've tried everything, and this is as exciting as it gets. <laughs> the next round is all about the year's water cooler moments. In May, Liverpool hosted Eurovision. Originally, the contest was supposed to take place in Ukraine, but was moved to Liverpool due to the war. With destroyed buildings, a lack of basic sanitation, <laughs> and violence erupting on every street corner, you can finish that joke yourselves, can't you? <laughs> in May, Greggs won a battle with Westminster Council to sell sausage rolls in Leicester Square until 2 a.m. The big question now, where are Greggs going to find a gourmet chef to work that late into the night? <laughs> in February, Lilt changed its name to Fanta, Pineapple and Grapefruit. What? Oh, yeah. no. Drips and drabs, Jimmy. Drips and drabs. <laughs> Give me some warning. It brought the entire nation together to say, wait, Lilt was pineapple and grapefruit flavour? <laughs> Lilt had been accused of cultural appropriation using Jamaican stereotypes and ting. <laughs> All right, time for the last set of questions, everyone. Very close. All right. For the first question of this round, it's over to Loki star Sophia Domatino. Hi, Jimmy. In Loki, my character Sylvie travels through time, embracing changing fashions along the way. She even gets a mullet. But a fashion trend from this year reminded people of Astro Boy, Ronald McDonald, and Dora the Explorer's best friend. Can your teams tell me what the trend was? So Sophia wants to know what fashion trends reminded people of Astro Boy, Ronald McDonald, okay. and Dora the Explorer's best friend. Boots. Oh man, I was thinking of hair. That's what I, yeah. my mind went. I was like, it has to course. be boots. Because yeah, God, it could, couldn't be an afro, and couldn't be whatever monkeys have for hair. Yeah, uh, no, it has to be boots. All right. Back in October, legendary thespian Brian Blessed made this statement: "It's not dead. It will survive." and it will be very bushy. What was he talking about? His beard. <laughs> Mel, that's a very smutty thought. OK. In September, reports of a flood in the town of La Vira in Portugal had people on social media saying, I'd be on the ground, mouth open, I'd be running with buckets, and Jesus taking it to the next level. Why? I Spilled wine. I think that's what it was. There you go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I like the way we've gone silent and focused and into some good, hard quizzing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm liking yeah. this. It's our last chance. Thank you, Detective. At a Blink-182 show back in June, Kourtney Kardashian announced some big news to her husband, drummer Travis Barker, by holding up a sign in front of the crowd. You all have blank versions of the card under your desk. All I want you to do is write down what her card said. I got a tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> She's pregnant. I follow Travis Barker on, on Instagram. That's how I found that out. Yeah. What, how did she break it, though? Wasn't it like something... She had a, she she had said, a, I'm pregnant? Yeah, yeah. On, I read it on the card at a Blink-182 concert and just held it up. Wow. That's kind of a shitty way to announce a pregnancy to your husband. That's a... That would throw me off, dude. That, would, that has the possibility of throwing the whole thing off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and... Plus, there's the possibility that other people will find that out before Travis does, a.k.a. the father. Yeah. That's a bit shitty, don't you think? It's a Kardashian thing. It's all for their TV show. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Baby! Close. In October, Suella Braverman apologized to all dogs out there. What had she done? She's dead. I don't know. In October, Suella Braverman apologized to all dogs out there. What had she done? You ready for answers? Uh. Yep. Didn't right. first up, what fashion trend? What didn't they ban a breed of dog? Probably pit bulls or something. I thought they like it's some boxer, I think. Yeah, but um, but yeah, I th maybe that's in October. I think they might have fully banned a certain breed. So. Yeah, yeah, it, it would make sense. And reminded people of Astro Boy, Ronald McDonald, and Dora the Explorer's best friend. What do you think? That was the uh, the big boots. Damn. Big red boots? How does Mo Gilligan know that? Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> Catherine, Rosie? <laughs> Big red right boots! And did you get this, Mel? Well, I put knee, well, we put yeah, knee, knee high boots knee and then high red. Boots. Did you say red? Yes. Yeah. Okay. It was the fashion brand Mischief released their big red boots. I'll model them for you. Oh. These are the big red boots. Oh, oh wow. 
It's a strong look, isn't it? I don't like how Snoopy's changed. And those are the real boots? Those are the real boots. What are you going to do with them after the show? I'll buy them uh, off you. You'll buy them off me? I'll, I'll buy them off you. They're, they're cold. You can have them. Oh, for free? Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> it's called a tax write-off. <laughs> <laughs> God, they are never going to let Jimmy live that down, are they? <laughs> never. Never. That's just low-hanging fruit, man, but always funny. Oh, I think I hope we formed that LLC, right? <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Man. Brian Blessed said it will survive and it will be very bushy. What did you put? We just said Richard's hair. We didn't know what to do. <laughs> I'm sorry, Richard. No, it's fine. I, I'm, I'm used to being a punchline. Not a good one, but... Rosie, Catherine. What does that say, Camille Hadrian Shaw. That is the right answer, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a uh, sycamore gap tree felling, yeah. Oh, oh you okay. put, Richard Mel, you put what? Yew tree. Oh, no, that's a whole different I thing. Know. I asked you why people on social media uh, wanted to be a flood in Portugal. What did you put? Wine. We knew that it was a flood wine. of spilled wine. Did you know this, Mel? Same yeah. Z's. Yeah. Same Z's. Mo, we just seven. put something broke. We never knew it was wine. We just put a vineyard slash brewery. Booze anyway was pouring everywhere. Let's take a look. Wow. Oh. Yo. 2.2 million litres of wine gushed down the, Good God. the streets. Lasted for about an hour. Oh. Oh. Wow. wow. Where is that? And does that happen often? I, I... hear Portugal is good for uh, US expats, so... Hey, listen. I know I see drifting down that river of wine is the price of wine, red wine, going way up. Yeah, because it's like it's a special blend. Yep. Man. Very special blend. Good Man. God. Wow. Does that, Jimmy, as a, would that affect the flavor of the wine? <laughs> no, they put it straight in a box at the end. It's fine. <laughs> I asked you what Courtney Kardashian wrote on her sign. Well, show me your signs, what you'll put. I think she put that she was pre <laughs> she, was, she I, went to his concert, held it up to tell him that she, that's how she broke it to him, that she yeah. was expecting their kid. So it clearly makes her fucking mental. <laughs> but she never actually wrote that, but that was why the brackets were there. Okay, but she yeah, put no. Travis, I'm pregnant, or something uh, like, or you're going to be a dad, or... I mean, that's... Uh, what have you got? I'm pregnant! Well, I'm not surprised in that dress. <laughs> what did you get? Car is waiting at arrivals. <laughs> it's just it's fun. It's fun. I'm hey! Like, it's just fun. All right, points, points, fun, points. It's just fun, Jimmy. Right, so like, you know what? A lot of fun writing things on cards, turns out. But I do have to say that a lot of people <laughs> were dubious of this announcement. They were like, why would she be showing and announcing to her husband, who sees her every single day, that she's pregnant? But what it actually was, and Mel will appreciate this, mm -hmm. is a throwback to an early Naughty's Blink-182 video where there is a random fan in the crowd holding up a sign that says, Travis, I'm pregnant. So that's what she's doing. Uh -oh. She's like, show. She's doing a cute announcement right. for the. It was for us, not for yeah. him. I'm just gonna erase that, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it was, I haven't seen many Blink-182 music videos. So I, okay, maybe that was a throwback. That that's a, a deep throwback. dive. That wouldn't have even got that. Cause you know what? Regardless, an ode to a Blink video. That's really. I don't know. I. She takes an interest in what he does. Very <laughs> nice. Yeah. All right. I asked you why Swallow Braveman made an apology to oh, yeah. all dogs. What did you all think? She let them out. That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't like a dog. Andy Doll, his business card. <laughs> Catherine, Rosie. Yeah, she stood on a blind person's dog because she's a dickhead. Stole a blind person's okay. dog. Okay. Uh, Richard Mel. She stepped on the tail of a Labrador. It would appear she uh, stood oh my on God. a that's so crazy. guide dog's tail. No. Yeah, that's hard. Fucking no. hell! And that's a really poiky heel there, isn't it? It's yeah, a that's, a, that's a kitten heel, and they hate kittens. <gasps> oh. Okay, let's check the points. Let's check. Okay, so I can tell you, oh, Kevin, you have 25 points, a tie in the lead, Richard Mel, Rosie and Catherine, you both got 28. Oh. It is you could still steal this. Okay. It all comes down to this. The big question, and here to help me ask it, our very own Barbie and Ken, everyone. Ooh! Is that Margot Robbie? I give it up for Love Island Games contestants Megan and Toby. Oh, never mind. Hey, never mind. Thank you. 
uh, so at first I thought it was either Marco Robbie or um, Holly from this morning with Gino. That's who I thought it was. Good guess. Yeah, but I don't watch Love Island. Me neither. I'm, <laughs> I'm on a loveless island right now. Pretty sure they call that an oasis. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yep. Wow, right. <laughs> Oh, you look here. Uh, uh, what, so you got the big question for us? We have the big question. So Barbie was, of course, the biggest film of the year. But who was the most Googled person? So who was the most Googled person of, of the, the year? year? Second question. What's UK TV broadcast? Question. And the last question was, what was the most streamed song in the UK? Most streamed song. OK. Uh, the most Googled person, Oppenheimer. Uh, what was the second one? The most viewed TV event in the UK. Probably the coronation of King Charles III. Uh, the most streamed song in the UK? I don't know. I'm just going to pull it up, but Last Night by Morgan Wallen, because that was the one <laughs> most streamed one here in the US. Oh, shit. Sure. Any objections to any of those answers? None whatsoever. They're all. All right. Didn't watch Love Island games. Did you too, yeah, yeah, or not? Yeah. Why not? He's a lovely looking yeah. fellow. Well, Honestly, you... Megan. Why not? <laughs> why not? <laughs> Don't put me on the spot like that. He's got a love... You're literally on a spot. <laughs> How was your time on Love Island games? Intense. Does blood, sweat, tears, more tears. Blood, sweat, yeah. tears, more tears. Yeah. I think he's messing yeah. up a few bodily fluids there. <laughs> Did you go to Fiji for it? That's so cool. Yeah, that was sick. <sighs> Let's see what answers you've got. Okay, so. Most Googled person, Richard Mel, what did you get? We put Taylor Swift. Yes. Uh, Rosie, Catherine? We've also oh. put Taylor Swift. Yeah. And Mo, Kevin? Taylor Swift. But <laughs> Megan, what's the right answer? The most Googled person this year was Taylor Swift with over 28 million oh. searches. Yeah. Five points, five points, five points. Okay, fine. Why the fuck are you Googling Taylor Because uh, football and Eras Tour and Swifties. Are you okay, man? I just have <laughs> such a bone to pick with that cult. Give us our people back. <laughs> it's worth than than Garth Brooks's bodies, right? Jesus. They're dude, probably right? working together. Oh man. Okay, so what are your answer on the next one? The most watched TV show? Coronation. 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 We, said, we said the cor coronation, but we'll oh. Okay. Just watched UK TV broadcast was the coronation, watched by an average of 18 million people. Wow. Oh, okay. Man. Okay, this is the most streamed song of the year. You've gone for, Richard. <gasps> I suspect this was you. Bear in mind, this is the only song that I know of that came out this year. <laughs> Dua Lipa, the one that was in Barbie. <laughs> Dua Lipa, the one that was in Barbie, okay. Oh. Yeah. Uh, okay, okay. Maybe Dance the Night Away. That, okay. Uh, that, yeah, that's what that one is. Or, or whatever remake of Barbie she made. With was that Dua Lipa or Lizzo? No, it's Dua Lipa. Oh, was uh, it? It wasn't, wasn't Lizzo. Lizzo got cancelled, do you remember? Oh, did she? Oh, I, I don't I don't know. Oh, yeah? Well, I, that's that's how much I know. Yeah. Oh. And uh, you've gone for Mo, Kevin? We went for one last hurrah on the door, Jackie. <laughs> actually... And uh, Rosie, Catherine, what do you think was the most streamed song? My Flower. What is the correct answer? And the most streamed song in the UK this year was Flowers by Miley Cyrus. Oh. Yeah. Give them the trophy! Give them the trophy! Give them the trophy! They've won! The final scores are Mo and Kevin have 35, Richard and Mal have 38, the winners, Rosie and Catherine with 43, you have won. That's it, a big thank you to our brilliant panel, special guests, and thanks for watching. I've been Jimmy Carr, this has been the Big Fat Quiz of the Year. Good night! All right. There you Miley go. Cyrus flowers. I tried to block that out of my head because Miley Cyrus gave me a copyright strike on my music channel because I did a cursed mashup. I, I, I really, I really, I really don't mind her new stuff. Yeah. I can't, I cannot stand her older stuff. Oh, Hannah Montana, all that stuff. Yeah, all that party in the USA was like, put, I would rather put lemon juice in my eye than listen to that. But anyway, fair enough. Cool. Yeah. So but, this is it's a good way to kind of like wrap up what the what the hell happened. I I I, I could see this being a staple on the I, channel. I like this. This is a good cuz it's it's a one and done thing, you know what I mean? Like it's now we have to wait till the next year. Right. And for us as a channel, we've got and I was looking this up uh, a few weeks ago. 
we've got through like 2004 to go with this one. Whoa! So we could potentially fill out a, a, a <sighs> one slot for a full year with with VidFact Quiz. Wow! Or maybe half a year. Uh, let's be honest here. Let me let us know in the comments what you guys think. Exactly. And thanks for watching. So we're on yeah. subscribe and watch another video. What now, Dan? Unplug and enjoy this year. Exactly. Let's make 2024 a great one. Hell yeah. And see you in the next video. Later. Fellas, we can be that mistake. Let's do this.